Anyone here own, build five units plus? We got a, we got a couple. Okay, so it's, it's relevant. Um, so I work for a company called Peak Hill Capital. Uh, we finance anything five units plus uh, through CMHC Select, which is an insured lending program uh, facilitated by CMHC. Uh, a lot of people don't, don't understand the roles, but really CMHC is the insurer. They're not the lender in this situation. We're the lender. We approach them. They arrange a, a certificate of insurance, they call it. Uh, once we have that, uh, we lend the money and then the loan gets securitized. It becomes part of a Canada mortgage bond. Poof, it's gone. Um, but just so you know, the federal government is not the lender here. Um, they do lend through a program called RCFI and co-investment program where you d apply directly to CMHC. That's not going to be applicable to you guys. That's really for nonprofits, for you know, 20, 30, 40 story transit oriented rental developments. Um, so if you're going to build five units plus, 99% of the time it's going to be through this program MLI Select. I didn't put together a, a presentation um, because I don't think that anything I could put together would be better than this web page on CMHC's website, which has 95% of the information you need to know to be an expert. Like this is how I learned how, how I learned almost everything about the program. People ask me all the time, select, what are the parameters? Let's, I, I figured we would just go through this web page, just high level, so that you can all go home, and when you're ready, you, can, you will know how to navigate it, what the parameters are. Um, I feel like that's the best way to do it, because I'm always directing people back there. Sometimes they're like really, really sophisticated investors. I'm like, look at the web page, man. So, um, so. Uh, where are we going to start? So if you scroll down, sir, yes, um, let's go down to, we care about existing properties. Does anyone own rental five units plus? Okay, we'll talk about this for a sec. Okay. Or if you're buying existing rental. So um, if you're buying rental in, C, uh, rental in Toronto right now, even through CMHC, if it's existing rental, on in-place rents, the most you could probably get is 65% loan-to-value, loan-to-purchase price, which is not that attractive, just because cap rates are so low. Um, so, um, in order to create value, you have to cater your project to the financing program. Um, right now, I think the most value is in energy efficiency. Um, and but first, let's talk about this whole grid here. So, MLI Select uh, for 50. If you get 50 points. You get a 40 year AM, 45 points, you get a 45 year AM, 50 po uh, 100 point, sorry, 50, 70 is 40, 45 year AM, 100 points is a 50 year AM. They're all 1.1 debt service coverages, okay? And that's all indicated down below. But in Toronto, if you're buying an, an existing building, you're going to be looking at energy efficiency only. You're not going to be doing any affordable units because the affordable rents are way too low in Toronto. Um, accessibility, you're not going to do. It doesn't to have accessible units. Doesn't make sense. It's only going to be energy efficiency. So, in order to get this program, which is technically up to 95% of value, um, you will get points through reducing energy perform uh, energy efficient or improving energy efficiency by 25% or 40%, 50 or 100 points. Okay. Um, so what you would look at on an existing building is you look at the mechanical systems, the heating situation, see if you can replace an old furnace, an old boiler. Um, uh, and you have to talk to an energy consultant. That's really the first thing you should do if you're looking at an old building uh, and see if, they can, if, if you can reach these levels of reduction. Energy consultants are the number one game in MLI Select. You have to have an energy... There's a, there's a guy here. I don't know where he is. If he's an energy consultant, you should talk to him. He, do, he does the models, he signs off, you take it to CMHC, you qualify. Um, so what they would say is, okay, you need to replace your, your furnace, your boiler. Um, once you do that, we'll advance the money with a holdback. And once it's uh, installed, well, the lender can release the holdback. Um, so with that, you get uh, you know, up to a 50-year amortization, uh, which, is, which is incredible because the banks only offer 25, obviously. Um, okay, so if you scroll down a little bit more, this is the, um, so that was, that was 
how to get the points, and this is what the points gives you for existing properties, okay? So as you can see, 50 points, it's 85% of value, 70 points, and to 100 points, up to 95% of value. The debt service coverage ratio is 1.1 across. Amortizations change, recourse uh, is kind of discretionary, uh, but it, it speaks for itself. You can see, if you click through there, you can see, we don't have to do it now, but you can see the fees and premiums associated with the loan. It all gets capitalized in the loan, so you don't have to pay it out of pocket, okay? So if you scroll down a little bit more, new construction, this is where it gets interesting, which we do a lot of. Um, here we're doing a lot of, in Toronto, the most feasible new construction is like five to 10 units, kind of laneway project. Um, and again, no affordability. What you're gonna do is you're gonna, before you finalize your construction drawings, you, you would go to an energy modeler, show him your drawings, and you would ask him, am I gonna be a, at least 25% of, or 40% or 40 more efficient than the 2017 National Energy Code? Um, they do their model and then they tell you, it spits out, yes, you are 25% above code or 40% above code. If you're not, you will go in and you, you will change your drawings so that you do actually qualify. So you, are, you have to get in with an energy modeler very early, a consultant very early, before you finalize your drawings because it's hard to do retroactively. Uh, this is the only game in town, by the way. If you're gonna build five units plus, you're gonna use this. So you, you're gonna have to become an expert. Um, and there's different ways that you can improve your, improve your energy efficiency, but it kind of depends on, on your project. So that's why you need it. You can't just guess, you have to get an expert involved. And the energy models aren't that expensive. You know, it should be under five grand and it gives you access to this program. So what happens is they do their model, they, they sign off on the form and with that form, CMHC puts you right through. Um, so that's all it is. Um, if you go down a little bit more, these are the parameters for new construction, okay? So loan to cost is up to 95% um, in each scenario, but it's always constrained by your debt service coverage. So if it's new construction, you look at your debt service coverage 1.1, you work your way backwards to the loan amount. Um, in Toronto, it's very difficult to get 95% if you're not building yourself, if you're not the, the construction manager. Um, if you have a third-party GC, they're going to have their profits in the in, in the in the project. So, you know, it, it's tough to say. It depends on your density, um, but definitely outside of Toronto, people are getting 95 percent, 100 percent. Within Toronto, if you get 80, 85, you're lucky. But there are a few getting 95 percent today in Toronto on between five and 10 units. But you have to be very efficient, and you have to model your your project like specifically for this program. So you have to be very, very, um, you have to start with this, I think, and build your, pro build your project around the financing is, is really the only thing you can do. Um, people, bu people do student res. Student res is also um, applicable for, for CMHC financing. You can't do five bedroom units. Some people have five bedroom uh, unit student res is not, doesn't work for CMHC, they go, sorry. And now you're stuck with a bank. So there you go, your financing is now screwed. Um, so make sure, if you, you look at the criteria, depending on the asset class, rooming houses, they also do rooming houses. Um, you know, where there's shared amenities, like uh, kitchens, shared washrooms, they can do that stuff, but it ha you have to look at the criteria. Um, so. I mean, that should, you guys should all be experts to as much as, you know. And then, and then if you look down here, if you scroll down, frequently asked questions, everything you could possibly want to know, it's all here. So really the goal here is just so you guys are equipped. Most, most of you guys are not going to remember anything that anyone said up here all day. So at least you know now. If you Google MLI Select, you'll be able to navigate it and figure it out. That's... Uh, and then, and then when you have questions, when you're ready to proceed, that's when you, that's when you go to a lender like, like us at Peak Hill Capital and, um, and we facilitate the, the submission. But, but essentially, that, that's the program. Um, 
if anyone has, I don't have anything else prepared, but if anyone has questions about specifically. What we'll do is we're going to do one more talk and then bring you back for questions. All right, let's go. Yeah. 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 Well, thank you. So everybody, thanks to uh, Max Poison for that talk. Thank you.